How's it going people? It's Dark Cloud 247 just doing a quick video on the um, touch plate, the Auto Tool Zero touch plate. Uh, yeah, let's start with the basics. Ooh, to set it up so that it works with the um, CNCS machine, go into configurations, go into ports and pins, and then go into I'll remember create input signals scroll down until you get to probe make sure it's switched on it'll be port 1 pin number 11 and make sure the active low is on and then press apply alright once you've done that next thing you need to do is go into operator then go down to edit button script now if you notice there's a few buttons flashing we obviously want the auto tool so what you do is you click on auto tool zero and this will pop up now I've already put the script in so what you do is anything that's in here, remove it and then copy and paste the script into here and then click save. I'm just going to, we don't have to save it even though I'm not changing anything. All right. All right, this is the script itself. This is what you'll need to copy and paste. The only thing that you'll need to adjust is just here where it says uh, call set draw to right this here is the height of your touch plate so whatever the height is of your touch plate I'm on, obviously using micrometer check it from the bottom to the top and then whatever it is Put in there in my, in my case it's obviously the uh, 19.3 uh, yours might be slightly different so you put that number in there then copy it and paste it Ooh. yep right and then for the next part what you need to do is the controller box set up like this basically so the bottom's facing you all your dials and switches to the left hand side and all your uh, connections are on the right hand side the only screws you need to remove are the ones that are on the outside I've already removed them bar a couple just to now some people are going to say oh what about the warranty the warranty will be null and void if that's torn or whatever to be honest the warranty that you get with these is not worth the paper that it's written on so uh, give me two seconds to open this up and then I'll be back all right next part is setting up the actual uh, touch plate itself obviously you can buy them off of eBay I think they're about five six pounds something like that now I rewired mine I put a longer wire on I mean, for that bit, all it is, it's just a, a nut and washer that holds the wire onto it. So that was simple enough to do. But with the crocodile clip, I resoldered it. Uh, I think because they sent me, I don't know, I can't remember how long the wire was, but it wasn't long enough, so I ordered some more, just standard speaker wire. And uh, sorted it out. Basically, just need to make sure that the um, ground or earth is your clip. And then uh, your positive is the plate itself. I'm not sure whether it would make much difference if it was the other way around because it would still make the connection. I don't know. But uh, what I've done is obviously you'll get it and you basically have it like that. So I also ordered from eBay the actual uh, clip that fits into your machine, which is this one here I could have got the clip by itself 
but with no wires and I could have done my own but I would have had to have ordered it from China I didn't fancy waiting forever so yeah basically when I ordered that the red and the black were the other way around and there was three other wires I removed the wires and I swapped the red and black around only for the purposes of this video because once I wire it nobody will ever see it but I didn't want people moaning that I've wired it up wrong so basically the uh, black goes to the red and the uh, black and white to the black simple as so I'll get that soldered up and then I'll show you where to put it all right now we've got the control box open basically make sure you've not used your control box for a couple of hours because we've got capacitors and stuff that will obviously store electricity and whatnot so leave it a few hours not completely unplugged just so that you don't cause yourself any problems by getting electrocuted or damaging it in any way and then basically you've got your fan on, the, on your bottom for cooling and then just follow that up at the back you'll see right there that's where your um, connector goes for your touch plate basically on the left hand side your very first pin is your ground or earth and then on the right hand side which is your fifth pin which is p11 which is what it should be but for whatever reason someone's printed stuff over the top on the circuit board that's your live so basically you just take your thing what i've done is because mine's only a three axis it's got a hole for a fourth axis that was covered up so i've just uncovered that hole run it through it and then i shall put that in place and then just recover both sides either with tape or whatever or i might even hot glue the wire in place but i'd rather not be sticking anything in there so i'll probably just glue it glue it tape it so right as you can see it's now in place you're live on the right hand side and your earth on the left hand side so that just clips in there nicely like i said i shall uh, tape that up just to keep the airflow as it should be and then uh, re-put it all back together now when i took this apart when, when you bring the back plate down, you also, once you bring it out slightly so that all this is missing this area, you need to rotate it to the right and then lay it down. Because if you try and put it up as it is, it, it won't fit in. Just letting you guys know. So as you pull it out, before you drop it down, rotate it to the right while you're turning a bloody steering wheel. And then I'll just get this put back together and then I'll show you it up and working. Right, once you've uh, done your script, adjusted your settings, set up your um, touch plate, you need to go to your diagnostics. Do not test it on the CNC at this moment because if it's not set up properly or something's been done wrong somewhere along the line, it could be expensive. <laughs> That's all I'll say. But uh, the way you test it, is if you if you if the system that you're using has a parallel port when you touch these together one of these should light up it's bound to be the 11th uh, the 11th pin so to when you touch that it should light up if it doesn't something's wrong somewhere if you're using a USB and you're testing it. The thing you need to light up is the digitizer. Now I've since come, uh, I've since stopped using a uh, parallel port. I moved over to a uh, USB on Windows 10. So hopefully if I touch that, the digitizer should light up. Yep, that means that it's making the connection. And you test that first before you test it on your CNC. And like I said, for parallel ports, it's one of these pins. So if it doesn't light up, something's wrong somewhere. You need to re go over everything and make sure that your wiring's done properly because that's normally the, the main cause. Right, let's get this tested. Ooh. 
right so let's test this now all going well when I test it it should touch go back up and it should be 25 mil above the bed if I remember correctly and the way you test it is obviously go back to run program and then you click on auto tool zero and what I recommend if it's your first time Make sure your hand is on the emergency stop of your control button, just in case. So basically press auto tool zero and come back out here. There we go, now that should be 25 mil above the bed, all going well. Well, mine's just slightly out. I might need to adjust that. But, um, well, that's basically it, people. Obviously, I've just got to adjust that. Not that I'm too bothered by it being out by like 0 0.8 for whatever that is. But, um, yeah, everything you need to know, I shall put in the description, like the, uh, the actual connector part. If I remember correctly, it was a was it it was a JST dash XH male but it's a 4s 4s 5 pin but I'll put the descriptions down and plus I'll do the links to uh, the uh, where I got them from on eBay and whatnot well hope help somebody out there like normal I doubt someone's gonna fucking moan at me because my things out or 0 0.000 whatever that is but uh, I'm not too bothered people just means that I've got to readjust one of my motors just the tiniest amount tiniest amount right on that note people I'll leave you to it and if I think of anything else it'll be in the description